Hi, I'm Eric Asimov, wine critic at the New York Times, and I've spent a lovely weekend as a guest speaker at the Lake Austin Spa Resort. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about choosing wines for the holidays. Now, most people dread this task, but take it from me, it is just about the easiest chore for the holidays, far easier than cooking, cleaning, setting the table, and if you really are worried, the best thing is you'll at least choose wines that you will like. Now, it depends in making your choice on whether you're having a large gathering or, or an intimate dinner party. If you're like me, you have a huge family gathering, maybe 30 people to feed, and that means several things. First of all, you're not going to worry about beautiful glassware. You're going to serve in plastic or paper, and you're not going to worry about that at all. Second of all, you're going to need a lot of wine. Um, pretty much for all people of drinking age, you're going to want one bottle per person. I know that sounds like a lot. Nobody's really going to drink a bottle, but there's nothing worse than not having enough wine. You can always send people home with a bottle if you have extra. Next, comes the, uh, the task of choosing exactly which wines you want and take my word for it, don't worry about matching specific wines to specific dishes. That is just silly, especially when you have a big gathering and a lot of different sorts of foods. You want uh, wines that are going to be tangy, zesty, energetic, and, and last for the long haul because if your party's like mine, people come early, they start drinking, they start eating, they don't want to fall asleep on the couch. And so you want to look for a white and you want to look for a red so people have a choice. Uh, a white wine that is potentially um, uh, zesty and invigorating is a, a Sauvignon Blanc. You can find a lot of good ones from, from California, from France, they're often called Sancerre, from New Zealand, South Africa, pretty much all over every country who makes wine, that makes wine, makes Sauvignon Blanc, and they're a great choice. For red, you also want something that's going to be energizing uh, rather than sleep-inducing. And that means choosing a wine that's somewhat light, uh, doesn't have a lot of alcohol in it, and will will give people, again, energy rather than uh, put them over the top. Uh, good wines to consider might be uh, Beaujolais. Um, uh, from Italy, you have a, a wine like Valpolicella or Barbera d'Alba. Uh, uh, an inexpensive Pinot Noir from Oregon or California is going to be light and fruity and delicious possibly even a uh, Malbec from, from Argentina. And with many of these wines, uh, the, the less money you pay, the easier drinking they will be and the more you'll be able to drink without, again, getting tired or, or fatigued. Um, one other thing you might consider is a, a, a rosé. I know that many people associate rosés with the summer, but uh, they can be wonderful with uh, the, the wide range of foods that you're going to have for the holiday. Uh, you could also choose an inexpensive sparkling wine. These wines are not just for toasts or, or christening ships. They go great with uh, all sorts of foods. Uh, a Prosecco, a Cava from Spain, even a less expensive uh, sparkling wine from California could be great. Um, trust me, this is a, uh, a simple task, it's fun, you'll choose something you'll like, and, uh, and whatever you choose, it's the holidays, so you're going to have a wonderful time. Thank you.